Hey guys, it's me Rebel Glam with another blog. Today's blog is on commitment. Um, I know that you know I will have my own opinions about it compared to the opinions of other people. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a series of blogs that um, culminate into this whole topic of what men are looking for because I think it would be interesting for men to hear what other men are looking for and particularly necessary for women especially to hear what men are generally looking for um, we have come a long way from you know relationships where men dictated them or where uh, you know women just basically are you know dependent on men and men just provide we've come a long way but um, you know different mentalities still exist and it, it's interesting to see what a broad spectrum of men like so with that said I wanted to start on commitment because I think the whole reason why we want to know this so much is because of the whole topic of commitment so you know my first thing is what is commitment and um, let me just say there's some things that inspired this blog um, first of all Excuse me, I'm outside, huh? First of all, this vlog was inspired by this um, video that I watched. I think it had to be a joke. But this girl basically talking about how guys is friends on her. And, she, you know, why, why don't you just give yourself to me? I, I, you know, why are you putting on single on your status when you know that I want you? Can I have you or not? And I think it would have had to been a joke. But, you know, I think a lot of us have this mentality, women, where we're like, yeah, we just want a good man. We just want a good man. We just want a man that can stand with us. A man that can stand with you is not necessarily a good man. It's not like the same thing. And um, I found it funny because, like, it's that sort of stalking mentality. We as a woman know that if some man that we're not interested in messages us on Facebook, like, hey, dot, 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 we already got an attitude before we even reply because it's like, who's this fool now? You know, or hey, baby, what going on? You want to know, like, who the hell is this man? But yet we do it to men when we think that we're interested in them because we, you know, we're not socialized to be bold um, and say, yo, I like you, you know? So we always test in waters and, and you know, I would know my husband gets them all the time lots of messages from women who see abs and then be like yo hey you know I don't know what you're looking for you know you can see he's a married man so he definitely has a whole bunch of baggage but um you know y'all be trying to get yourself in the mess because y'all be tripping and I think it's necessary for women to really find out what men are really looking for so women could stop tripping and get real you know at the end of the day I could deal more with a woman who's be like, yo, you like me? Okay, pay my bills. As as um as think as I'm at home. Because at least you know what she's looking for. You understand? But I think a lot of us women don't know what we're looking for, period. And the reason is because we think we want commitment, but we don't understand what commitment is. I saw an article in Dare Christine, I believe it was yesterday's paper, but I could be mistaken, but I think so. Dear Christine, I had a long distance relationship with this man. The man's supposed to be a Rastafari religion of a high order. I come to Barbados, he treat me stink and get a, 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 a wire cutter and cut out my nose, ring out my nose. What are you telling me? If you understood what commitment means and what commitment is about, you would never marry a man that you have never been around. I mean, it should be common sense, but at the same time, I know people get caught up and I'm not judging anybody. But you mean to tell me that you think you know a person and you've never actually been physically around them to see the things that they don't show you? Now, if someone is interested in you and wants you to be interested in them, it is very likely that they're only going to show you their good side. Some people try to be honest and be like, well, there's me. So if you don't, you know, if you don't like it, go along. But most people are too vulnerable for that kind of honesty. Most people are hoping that you will stick around. Most people really want to be with you. So you have to get to know them and they show their bad side to you bit by bit from you being around them. You can't decide to marry a man and you've never been around him and vice versa. You can't decide that you want to be with someone and you've never been with someone. Never mistake and feel that you know somebody because of Facebook, internet and nothing. So, because I know that got a lot of people, even people that are my fans or people that I am fans of, that if I was probably to be around them in real life 
and see the other side of them besides the good parts that they're showing me on Facebook or the untrue parts they're trying to make themselves look so grand on social media that it might decide to chuck that person in the garbage you know a lot of these people act like them you know that you know I, I said it in my poem Empowered Woman Queen on The Realist you can check out that online spoken word album five, uh, five pieces and I said y'all you know not for them like to act like the presidential but you know they're really their life is really shanty town and catching the bus and that's cool too if you could stop acting like we know it all and got it all and give god the trust because at the end of the day you know no matter where you are in your life that's not the problem it doesn't matter if you're rich you're poor whatever but you know it's the fronting and i think that all of this fronting that we do with relationships shows that we don't understand commitment so what's commitment Commitment is making a decision based on knowing yourself extremely well. You cannot, even all these girls that meet men and be like, yo, if he would be good to me, I would stay with him and we would be so cool. It doesn't work like that. Commitment can only happen when you know yourself and know what you want. And commitment is sticking to something, but only if the decision to stick to it was made after knowing yourself because there's lots of people that are in a marriage 30 years 50 years whatever pouring in the body and doing all sorts of things the person doesn't like and the person's still around because it's more convenient than to divorce them and they think that they're in a commitment not really because the terms have been broken everything they said they were going to do in the beginning they have not done just sticking around that's not a real true commitment that's like a person going in the gym every day to talk you know, or to line with their friends and not doing anything. Yes, they're committed to going to gym. You want to use that word? They're not really committed. What commitment means is that you have to know yourself. You have to know, listen, I am a person that like to do, I'm a person that likes to look at other people or blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to commit to this person that I'm with. I'm not going to cheat on them even when I feel like doing it. Commitment is about you knowing yourself, your capabilities, and being disciplined. And I think that's the biggest problem with us nowadays is that we've lost our sense of discipline and we get into well. And um, at the end of the day, we like to outlet everything is everything and everything's cool. But we live in a world where standards exist and even like holy woman said, the is supposed to be of a high order. I'm a woman that believes in a high order. High orders exist. Standards exist. Now at the end of the day, you have to create a high order for yourself based not on who you are necessarily, but on who you want to be. And um, you have to decide, okay, right now I cannot walk a mile, but I want to be able to run 10 miles and enter some sort of marathon. If you know that this is your goal, you have to commit to the goal. It does not mean that tomorrow you're going to be able to run 10 miles, but it means that with commitment, you're not giving up until you can. And when you can, you're going to enter that marathon because you made a promise to yourself. And we have to take these things seriously. You know, you have to think of these things deep down in your gut, you know, and, and hold on to these things and understand that these are your moral fibers and these things make up who you really are. Not all the other fluff, not who people think you are, but who you really have been in the universe throughout your existence. And this is something deep, this is something difficult, this is something time consuming, and this is something really between you and God. No matter how you see God, you, you understand, it's something to do with your existence on this earth and how you have affected everything around you and what your real truth is. And for me, because of that commitment becomes truth. Because the things that we claim that we commit to, a lot of times we don't actually commit to them or we half-heartedly go into things because we do not have the discipline. Do we know ourselves to, enough to know that we need to develop discipline first before we can commit to something? And in that case, especially with something like marriage, which now you're messing with other people's lives, the life of the person you're supposed to love, the life of a child that you're supposed to have or children, isn't this the biggest decision of your life? And shouldn't you really get to know yourself, breathe, find out who you really are, and then decide if you're able to commit? I think it's essential. Um, I'm doing a class right now it's my husband's shape up fitness class and you know before I did the class I've done the class um, the last session but I wasn't on the diet I didn't commit to the class um, I did the class and it was good I even did lose some weight on the class and it was good but I didn't commit to the class this class I've committed to the class I've told myself no matter what 
I'm going to try my best to attend every class. If for a reason beyond my control I'm unable to attend a class, I will do the workout video and I will supplement my workouts. I will try my best to do the challenges. I will try my best to follow the diet because I want to see for myself what my husband's class results are like because I believe in him and I want to be able to believe in him not just because I know who he is but because I see that what he's doing actually works which I've seen that through other people already but there's nothing like seeing for yourself so I committed to the class and at the end of the day I want y'all to understand something for those of y'all in school whatever you're doing y'all get to know yourself so you know who you are how you are what you're probably gonna mess up on what you're not gonna mess up on you know and don't just go for what's easy for you it's the things that are harder for you that make a bigger difference in your life and decide to commit decide to do what is necessary whatever is necessary to stay on a path with something when I met my husband we were together for like a year before we decided that we were in a relationship you know we were just rolling deep you know he, well, he told me he loved me everything like that but he was like yo I love you but we weren't actually actually together and this was because we wanted to be sure that we could stay together where we to commit and you know he's a very disciplined person um, physically and mentally and I think the two go together a lot and um, if he wasn't maybe I would have made the mistake that most women make and jump into something because of love or because of thinking that it could work because of love and one thing I learned from that was that by the time we got together at that point I felt we were married because we had decided to commit to this it meant that even when you get me sick even when things are hard I will remember the effort that you put in me when I was down I will remember the things you did when I wasn't able and I will commit to you wholeheartedly and this is a thing especially in a relationship that does not work if it's one-sided so that's the other problem with commitment in a romantic setting at the end of the day you can keep a promise to someone yes even if they fall through on their side but none of us know ourselves in fall through position so when you make a commitment knowing yourself you're saying yeah if he's good to me I'll be good to him because I know I can do this all of a sudden now you hear he ain't really being good to you that's a problem you understand what I mean and you don't know he don't know what's gonna happen so I think overall when we look at what men want obviously this is men being the male reflection of us females we'll be able to look at ourselves and think about what we want to and of course I'll do a video on what women want but I'm just scared to do it because it's so confusing dealing with emotional beings you know it's much easier to deal with someone who's more logical emotional than someone who's more emotional logical and um, it's much more straightforward I think to do the men's because even if they talk joke and think they know what they want and they don't well I'm gonna pick that up and we're gonna have some fun with it so um, stay tuned for the, my next vlog which is going to be about what men want. I'm going to do some interviews with some lovely um, guys from Barbados I guess because I'm here right now. But um, remember, respect yourself enough to get to know yourself a little bit before you decide to commit to anything. Especially something that involves and can impact on other people's lives. And if you have a problem you know, in general with understanding what I'm saying yourself that you ain't eating the sugar for two weeks and see if you can even commit to that before you decide that you can commit to a person you know forever and by the way good luck to whoever's watching this that's getting married you're gonna need it <laughs> just kidding but bye-bye